Dave Palumbo here with an RX Muscle rant. That's right, I'm pissed off again. And you know when I'm pissed off, I gotta come on there and tell you about it, especially as it relates to our industry. There was a new news report that just came out of 22 News, and I'm not sure exactly where that is, but it's on their website, 22wwlp.com. And the title of the article was Doctors Warn Against Protein Powder and Supplements for Teenagers. I, I, I can't believe how ridiculous people are being nowadays with the supplements and teenagers, as if we're giving the teenagers drugs or something like that. I mean, I, I was looking, I'm reading the article here, and this guy, Lee Hip, who's the strength and conditioning coach at Bowie High School, uh, uh, he, he says he encourages kids to eat healthy and teaches players to eat, get protein from real foods like chocolate milk. Like chocolate milk. In other words, kids don't need protein powders to enhance the amount of protein they're eating per day. They can just get it from chocolate milk. And you know what? If you put some chocolate milk and you mix it with fruit, fruity pebbles, I'm sure that's a complete food that you can get from the supermarket, super healthy for the kids. That's why we have an obesity epidemic in this country, because of ridiculous statements like this. Number one, kids are in school all day. They don't have time to prepare protein meals, okay? They don't have time to, to cook chicken breasts and rice and put them in Tupperware and take them to school with them. They don't want to be bothered with it. They want to go to school and eat there. Okay. Having said that, you've seen what they serve at these schools. So even if they had a great breakfast and a great dinner when they got home, chances are they're going to eat a crappy lunch. And then in between breakfast and lunch and between lunch and dinner, they're not going to be eating enough Okay, because there's nothing else to eat. Uh, Drinking a chocolate milk in the cafeteria is not going to give them protein to repair muscle and build muscle, okay? Taking a protein supplement is a convenience. That's what it is. It's not that these protein powders build muscle. It's a convenience so that kids can get enough protein. If it was so easy for everyone to eat enough protein from their diet to build muscle, everyone would do it. And no one does it, not even adults. That's why we use protein supplements to supplement the uh, person's intake of food. Um, when I read statements like, um, uh, a lot of supplements tout they will build muscle mass. Uh, but really, how do you build muscle mass? How you build muscle mass is, is exercise and eat protein from the diet you have. This is according to Dr. Kelly Thorstad, a pediatrician at St. Uh, David's Children's Hospital. Well, yet yeah, that's simplicity at its best, okay, in ideal situations. The problem is that protein supplements are made to make it easier to get the protein in your diet, okay? It is food. People think it's not food. It's, it's whey protein. It's whey comes from uh, milk. They remove the crap from it and they leave the good stuff behind. This is something that you want your kids to use. You don't want them going and eating junk food from the supermarket because that's not going to build muscle. Um, this same doctor, Kelly Thorstad, also went on to say that um, uh, his big concern is that supplement products aren't regulated by the FDA and they may contain contaminants like heavy metal stimulants and anabolic steroids. And they actually put up a statistic showing 25%, 25% of protein supplements that he's, he, he's stating are contaminated with anabolic steroids. 25%, that means one in every four protein supplements have steroids in them. Are you kidding me? This stuff is, is, is scare tactics for the parents, it's scare tactics for the kids, and it's, it's ruining the supplement industry because this is not accurate information that they're putting out here. Also, their major concern is of the doctors is that these supplements can lead to riskier behaviors like anabolic steroid use, like protein powders are a gateway drug for steroids. Are you kidding me? Here we are, I'm trying to fight the battle every day to educate people as to why taking supplements, taking vitamins, eating right are important for their health and how they can balance what they do on a regular basis to ensure that they get the right nutrients so they can repair and build muscle. And this goes for adults as well as, as teenagers, okay? And then we got people like this putting these reports out they, they try to undo everything good that we did. It took years and years and years to educate people about what's good and what to eat and what supplements are safe. And now they're undoing, they're treating, the, the headline of the whole story was about, uh, the sub headline of the, of the story was, there's no added benefit to extra creatine. I don't even know why they put this in here. 
No, it had, been, it had nothing relevant to even do with the article. No one was even talking about creatine. So, once again, scare tactics. This is irresponsible reporting on the news agency's part. They're putting out a sensationalistic story that, they, that the facts are not true. One in every four protein powders has got steroids in it. Come on, please. I'm sick of it. Guys, educate yourself. Do your education. Hire people. Parents, if you're watching out there, don't believe this crap, okay? Because it's bad for the industry. It's bad for our kids because it's teaching them pseudoscience, as I like to say it. Eating Fruit Loops is not going to build muscle, okay? Granted, if you're going to feed your kid chicken breasts and, and eggs and, and, whole, and meats and fish all day long in small meals, that's great, but most kids are not going to do that. Protein powders are the best thing for kids because they're super convenient. There's lots of ready-to-made drinks they could use, and it makes it easy for them to get the nutrients they need so that they don't eat the junk food, so they don't increase all their sugar intake and candy intake and wind up with type 2 diabetes and, and obesity later in life. I'm Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle Rant.